Hey guys, so today I'm actually at my mom's house, so that's why the background's kind of different. Um, something really cool just happened, and I'm actually going to let Colin tell you. Okay, so something crazy and unexpected just happened, and this is, this is just a huge shout out to God. Like, this is, this is awesome. This is 100% Him. So, a lot of people know that I'm going through my teacher certification process because I want to be speech teacher and tennis, um, hoorah. And part of the teacher certification process, you, you have to complete a content exam. And this is a, a pretty tough exam. you got to pass this in order to go on and do your first internship year, uh, at least the program that I'm in. And it's, it's fully paid and everything, but you have to pass this exam first before you can do that. And honestly, financially, things are a little bit low right now. Uh, just having graduated college and, you know, both really digging into a further our careers. So it, this, is, this is just God's way of saying, like, if, if you're going to live for me, I'm going to provide for you. So this is, this is crazy. So this certain exam, I've heard of a lot of people studying really hard for this exam, and then they go and they take it, and they don't pass the first time because they're taken back by the questions. You know, they weren't expecting, you know, these questions or uh, what was on there they never really even studied for. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to go take the exam uh, without having studied just so I can see what's on there, see what I need to study, and hopefully the next time I'll go and pass it. And this, I mean, to do this, it costs $119 to uh, go and take the exam. And so I just, I, I knew I was going to bomb it, but I'm being smart about this because I want to pass it the second time. I want to do it as quickly as I can. you got to wait 45 days to take it again. So it's like, I'm just going to schedule this fast. So I did, and I remember last Sunday, we were in life group at church, and it was at the end, we were closing, and we were talking about prayer requests. And I've never, I've never prayed about things like this. Uh, for, for some reason, it just feels selfish. It feels like, oh, this is for me, not for God. Uh, but then I started thinking about it. I was like, what happens if we do pray for this, and then God shows up in this way? It's like, that would be complete glory to Him. And I'm like, so, so why not? Why not just pray for it, just see what happens? And so I spoke up, and, and we ended up praying about that. And then fast forward the next day, uh, test day. I'm sitting there in front of the computer, the lady pulls it up on my screen, the test, I'm just sitting there looking at the test, and before I do anything, I just bow my head and I pray, and I'm just like, you know, first of all, God, your will be done. Uh, but then I'm thinking, why not speak life? And so I'm just saying, you know, God, help me pass this test. You know, thank you for for uh, helping me pass this test. And then, and all glory to you, God. And I remember that was my prayer, and then all throughout the test, I would just take a little break, and I would just kind of pray. Uh, about the test and this was so crazy so yesterday uh, I get an email with the PDF of my scores and so um, obviously like I still think that I probably didn't pass because throughout the whole test I'm sitting there clicking answers that I have no clue they, they, these were questions that obviously I, I haven't studied at all for this and so I'm sitting there reading all these questions and clicking answers, and it's like there's no, there's no way, there's not, uh, because they're they're questions that it's like there's not one right answer. It's like they're all right answers. Pick the best one. I'm sitting there thinking this is this is dead. <laughs> but I remember looking at the scores. I'm looking at a bunch of numbers. I'm I'm not really sure what's going on. Then I finally see uh, it says what you have to make above. Uh, to pass, and that number is 240, so I got to make above that. So I'm sitting there like, well, what did I make? And I look, it says, your score, colon, 251. It's like, oh my goodness, there is no way I just passed this thing. And the first thing I thought of was like, man, that is that is completely 100% God. There's no way that that's not. And so this is, this is a shout out to God. Now I can further... Uh, my career, I don't have to spend however much money taking it again. I don't have to uh, spend however many days studying for this. Uh, it's it's done. All I need to do is field-based hours, and then I've got my intern year, uh, wherever God decides to take me, whatever school that is, next year. Fully paid, 
um, on teacher salary, which is not really what I'm making now. So it's like God is literally, he's just telling you, you live for me and you glorify me and watch what I do in your life. Because I truly believe he will bless us if we're going to glorify him with that. I truly believe that. So this is just saying, hey, God is awesome and, uh, and, and he's real. <laughs> no doubt about it. So thanks, guys. We'll see y'all later.